Hi there, Ruben here for Native Instruments and today I'm going to be taking a look at a collection of orchestral sample libraries from orchestral tools. More specifically, the four volumes of Metropolis Arc and Berlin Inspire 1 and 2. These contact player libraries are huge, both in scope and ambition, and they're all NKS compatible for Native Instruments hardware. If you haven't done the research, it can be a bit tricky to get a handle on the main features of each. So in this video, I want to narrow down and explain how each library has its specific role and the kind of instruments, multis and effects contained within each one. I'll be showcasing lots of the patches as I go along, sometimes with some accompanying footage from the Orchestral Tools trailers, just to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to use these patches as the basis for entire cues. Let's get started with the Metropolis Arc series. These popular libraries are designed for the more epic side of scoring, so think bombastic trailers and action films with fierce ostinati, soaring melodies and crashing percussion. That said, each of the four different ARC libraries has its own niche, which I'll look at as I go along. Metropolis ARC 1 is over 69GB of compressed samples, and like all of its sister libraries was recorded on the Teldex scoring stage in Berlin, using multiple microphone arrays, and these can be mixed right in the interface. For the sake of brevity, I'm only going to be playing the default mics that load up, usually a mix between the close and decatry. Like the Berlin Inspire libraries, there are many patches that utilise the capsule system, loading up multiple articulations at the same time. More on that later. Here's the high strings recorded both in octaves and unison. and the low strings. Many instrument sections are given more power, with more players than is usual for a symphonic orchestra. Here are four bassoons playing together. Nine French horns, and three tubers. The large choir is powerful, with multiple sustains, syllables and effects. There are even electric guitar patches, great for hybrid scoring. The percussion is a particular highlight with absolutely massive hits laid out across the keyboard. And there's a really upfront sounding piano too, with a full timbre. Don't forget that I'm really just scratching the surface here and playing some of my favourite patches. The full list for each library is extensive and also includes time machine patches for adjusting the timing of the samples. The focus of Metropolis Arc 2 is breadth and depth of timbre with quieter dynamics but still maintaining an impressively vast sound. This is borne out with the ensemble combinations and articulations, which perfectly complement the louder ones in Metropolis Arc 1. Although the performances are played at softer dynamics, they're still dramatic, but in a more controlled and refined way. For example, the non-vibrato low strings. and the threatening shorts and tremolos.
This concept carries through to the woodwinds with swells, overblown tonguing and multiphonics. There's a real concentration on low brass with Wagner tubers, bass trumpets and euphoniums. Choirs are markedly more restrained than Arc 1, but they do go much deeper. And there are dedicated male, female and children's choirs. The harp performances are also a particular highlight. I want to look at the percussion category of Arc 2 for a second, as there are 13 patches in total with some really fun sounds. From traditional drum ensembles, to metals, sound design effects, synths and a water phone. And yes, these effects even have mic mixing options. There's also a harmonium, organ, and a delicate and light piano ensemble. Metropolis Arc 3 takes a bit of a hard right compared to the previous two instalments with a somewhat different approach. Orchestral tools bill it as the beating orchestra and the overall concept was to treat the orchestra like percussion with plenty of short articulations, clusters and rhythmic motifs. Although there are lots more unusual articulations too using the same orchestral groupings. The sound is mostly epic and loud. The multis give a good idea of what to expect within the single patches. The huge percussion multi is particularly impressive. I want to give a special mention to the string quintet. And they're playing a variety of articulations and clusters with patches that recreate instant psycho soundtrack scoring. If 
if you've found it difficult to create realistic repetitions using short articulations, there are many patches here that should be able to help you out. The repetition performance is a tempo sync to your project BPM. And there are hundreds of single articulation patches, sensibly named so it's easy to find what you need. There's also a whole folder of solo percussion, including Grand Casa, Toms, Tycho and more. I find Metropolis Arc 4 the most focused of the bunch in terms of sound, described by orchestral tools themselves as the front row of the orchestra. That means you get refined section sizes that results in an intimate yet powerful sound, with the players really pushing their instruments to play as loudly as possible including overblowing winds and bowing strings very hard. There are also distinctive blends of instrumentation here, and some inspirational multis. The Trill's orchestrator patches are very useful tools for live playing trill intervals automatically. A quick mention for the power legato patches that were introduced with Arc 4, loud and powerful sustains with exaggerated yet smooth legato transitions. Arc 4 also features unique articulations that can sit right beside the other Arc collections, but they do have a life of their own. And there's also a pair of upfront sounding male and female choirs. Moving on to the two Berlin Inspire collections, these two libraries gather essential instruments and patches from other orchestral tools libraries and provide a great introduction to the other instruments. However, these are pretty comprehensive scoring tools in their own right, sampling an entire symphonic orchestra and featuring adaptive legato, solo instruments, special effects, orchestrated ensembles and more. If you're looking for CPU light sketching tools or slim down orchestral instruments for a mobile rig, then these libraries are the best choice from Orchestral Tools catalogue. They're light on resources as there's just one pre-mixed mic position. Starting with Inspire 1, let's have a play. This is the full orchestra featuring sustains, staccatissimo and effects. Another quick mention for Orchestral Tool's capsule system, which acts as a giant multi for many articulations. Here you can set up articulation switching via many different methods, including stacking articulations. Deeper options include long note true legato, legato volume, round robins, sample purging and a full range of dynamic controls. The string ensemble is lush.
with a softer sustain option. And shorts too. High and low strings have legato transitions. There's an entire brass ensemble. as well as splits for different instruments, including solo horn and trumpet. Here's a quick whiz through the woodwinds. There's one patch for essential orchestral percussion, conveniently laid out across the keyboard. Plus additional tonal percussion, such as marimba, xylophone and glockenspiel. And to round things off, a harp and Steinway Concert Grand. Those are a few of my favourite patches in just the first Berlin Inspire collection. Don't forget to check out the entire instrument and articulation lists for a complete idea of what each library can do. The second edition of Berlin Inspire builds on the bread and butter patches of the first, with an expanded set of articulations and orchestrations. Whereas in the first collection there are standard string sustains and shorts, with Inspire 2 you get articulations like flotando and portato. The mixed orchestrations are cleverly handled. Here's the French horn and celli ensemble. Low woods next. Violin and children's choir is a great combination. This low brass is perfect for a kind of colliery band sound. And this staccato cluster is dramatic. The extended techniques such as flagellate strings will give a broader canvas for your compositions. How about these brass swells?
Percussion has been expanded too with a range of effects. There are more solo instruments such as violin, cello, oboe and bassoon. I briefly mentioned the choir before, there's a legato patch too. To finish off, a quick blast on the organ. And an exquisitely sampled delicate piano. So hopefully you can see how these two collections differ. The first contains the most common articulations, instrument combos and solos, and the second expands on that concept with more inspiring content. They're both essential tools for broad strokes composing, to get ideas down as quickly as possible. I'll say one last time that you've only heard my favourite patches from the thousands available across these libraries, so hopefully I've given a flavour of the different types of articulations and performances from the expansive selections on offer. Do check out each library's included content yourself as it's extremely varied. And thanks so much for watching. <laughs>